Welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. In this episode, I have this question for us. When calculating the MATTR, or M-A-T-T-R, lexical diversity measure, which is faster? Python, Rust, Julia, or the new kid on the block, Mojo? The reason I asked this question is because in a previous video, linked to in the description of this video, I put Python against Rust to find the MTLD wrap, lexical diversity measure, and that other measure in the previous video is a more complex algorithm. It has a nested for loop within a for loop, and it has to break at a certain point. Anyway, it's more complex. This one here in this video, the MATTR, which is, stands for Moving Average Type to Token Ratio, is a pretty simple algorithm. Let me explain it. So what you do is you take the first 50 words of a text, that is from the first word to the 50th word, take all those words, and then you divide the number of unique words by the number of running words, that is 50. And you hold on to that quotient. Then you move that window one word to the right. So you're looking at the second word through the 51st word. And then you take the quotient of the number of unique words divided by the number of running words, called the type to token ratio. You hold on to that quotient. And then you move the window again. So you're looking at the third word to the through the 52nd word. And you take the type to token ratio that is unique words divided by running words. You do that all the way through the text, and then you take the average of those windows, of those quotients that you just calculated. That's why it's called moving average type to token ratio. It's pretty darn simple, much simpler than uh, the MTLD wrap algorithm that we looked at in the previous video. And in that previous video, I saw we found that Rust was way faster than Python. And I'm calling Rust from within Python using the PyO3 package. Let's take a quick look at that package. Again, this is a Rust crate, which is like a package that allows Rust and Python to talk to each other. So you can call Rust functions that you write from within Python. That's what I did in the previous video, and that's what I'm going to do in this video as well. So let's take a look at my code. Um, let's go to my Python code here. Um, uh, that's... It's a pretty simple thing. Like I said, it's just simply you get a 50 word window, just move it one word at a time, doing a simple division of unique words divided by running words, and then get the average. And so here I uh, call a, I created a, a class in Python to do that. And I created, um, here's my Rust code that does that. Um, that same idea, just moving 50 word windows at one word at a time. So anyway, I call, um, I call both my my Rust function uh, right there on line 26, as well as my my Python function on uh, 21. And I hold on to the time, so I write them out to a CSV file. And then, like I said, I brought Julia into the mix here. It's like a battle royale between these four languages. And so here's my Julia script. I will link leave a link in the description of this video to my my scripts here for these four languages. And uh, the same idea, but I basically just translated it into Julia using the same idea, same logic. And then, um, oh, I didn't explain this. So what I'm gonna have it do is I'm gonna give it 50 words first and have all four languages deal with 50 words. And then I'll jump up to 100 words and have all four languages deal with 100 words. And then 50 more words, so I have 150, and then 200 words, et cetera, all the way up to 10,000 words. And um, to see how they scale going up. So here's my Mojo script. I'm still trying to learn how to do Mojo well. I decided to make a struct and then have my um, MATTR function right there, get MATTR on line 20. And um, so that's what I'm doing there. So I ran, like I said, I, I had them um, deal with 50, then 100 words, and then 150, 200 words, et cetera, all the way up until 10,000 words. Just so you know, I'm using Python down at the bottom part of my screen. Let me zoom in a tab bit there. Python version 3.12.4. I'm using Rust version 1.79.0. I'm using Julia version 1.10.4. I'm using Mojo. I'm using a nightly release of Mojo. I'm using uh, 2024.8.105 is the nightly version of Mojo I'm using there. So I had all four of those languages do the same thing on the same file. It's, it's a, a file from the Spotify podcast data set has about 14,000 words. I had them stop at 10,000 words just for this video. So let's go take a look at the results. 
here is our old friend R, and I have a plot already made here. So in blue, that top line in blue is Mojo, and then down here, these three lines down here, uh, the purple is Julia, the red is Rust, and the green is Python. So our first take home message is Mojo is not yet optimized for text processing. I understand that, I'm cool with that. I understand the, the modular team is focusing on AI development, machine learning, right? Neural network machine learning with all the linear algebra and matrix multiplication and back propagation and whatever else happens in machine learning. That's what they're focused on. So, you know, that's fine. I just was curious to know if Mojo would be how it do and it is a lot slower than the other three languages. Um, so much so that I'm just gonna, we're just gonna zoom down on those other three languages now. And I think I'm gonna turn off all the dots. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off all those dots. So we're just looking at the trend lines. Let me just turn off the dots by doing this and then run it again. We'll just look at the trend lines. These are the low S lines. It's a locally based smoother line. So just looking at these three lines. Um, yeah, like I said, purple is Julia on top there. Red is Rust and green is Python. Wow, so the take home message is, for the first time ever, Python is quicker than Rust with this particular task. Again, this particular task is quite easy, quite a simple you know, procedure. And I'm curious, I don't know the answer, but I'm wondering if Python came out on top here, it was quickest, because there's a bit of overhead for Python to call Rust. And because it's such a simple algorithm, Python was able to do it super quickly and Rust couldn't catch up because it was just a simple thing that uh, they all had to do, which is move a 50 word window, one word at a time, and then do a simple division. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know that, that that's the answer, but for the first time ever on this channel, Python beat Rust. This is a momentous day for, for Python. Anyway, yeah, this is interesting to me. Um, down at the, we'll look at uh, Julia here in, in purple. When it has few words, like this is you know, maybe 500 words, 1,000 words or so in there. When it was dealing with um, about 1,000 words or less, let's see, that would be 1,250 words. That would be that tick mark there. Uh, it took a while. Like it was taking longer than the other languages, but then it, it uh, kind of you know goes in line with the other languages, uh, the other three, the other two languages, Rust and Python. So there you have it. So let's go back to our question. Our question was, when calculating the moving average type to token ratio, Lexel diversity measure, which is faster? In this case, Python was faster. Again, I have to, there's a caveat here. I'm calling Rust from within Python with the PyO3 package, and there's a bit of overhead. So yeah, the natural follow-up question I have, which I um, will have to look at in the future, is if I were to write this in native Rust without, you know, having Python call Rust, would Rust come out on top? That is another follow-up question I have. So there you go. Again, I love uh, pitting these languages against each other. A couple take-home messages. Python was quicker, I think because it's such a simple thing that the overhead that it had um, when it called Rust, uh, that overhead was too much because it's such a simple task that Python was able to finish it before Rust could catch up. Uh, Julia was right there with them, just you know, pretty close, but it was in third place. Mojo was way slower. I don't want to sh you know, throw shade on Mojo. Again, I recognize that the modular team is focused on AI development, that is machine learning, neural network machine learning, so that's cool. They're not focused on text processing. I, as a corpus linguist, am focused on text processing, um, so that's cool. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like subscribe and or comment if you'd like to. See you next time.